Is that like the boiler? I think it is. God, it's like walking through a Velcro. Well, there's the bridge. Run over this creek here. And that's the ocean. Little bay there. We're gonna go check out a lake. We're not really sure we know where we're going. I can see on the Avenza where the lake is. It looks like there's an old road out here somewhere following this creek. Oh yeah, there it is. Okay, this is gonna be easy. An old water wheel for electricity, oh yeah. Used to be uh, a fish hatchery here. It's all abandoned now. I'm gonna check out that waterfall. Apparently there's old train tracks out here somewhere. I mean, logging back in the 20s and 30s or whenever they had trains logging. Yeah, that's cool. Must've been quite the operation when it was, it was going. Oh yeah, I can feel that. It's uh, guideline notches I'm thinking, or backhaul, or back in, ah, tail hole. That's what I'm looking for. And then there's the springboard notches way up there. Nowadays, you'd be cutting it right there, but the old timers cut it way up there, standing on the springboard. It's probably 15 feet up from there down to, okay, maybe 10 feet from there to there. But I got my corks and I got my spotting scope right here. And I got my uh, raincoat. My town coat, which is waterproof, in case it rains, and I got a muffin. Like this is fairly recent. It's not really overgrown. So I wonder what they built this for. Oh, there's the old piping. Nice. You, know, you can tell it was a long time ago, just by how the and springboard notches. Yeah, it must have been 80 to 100 years ago. Well, there's the ocean. The, the little inlet there. Look at the size of this piping. All plastic. Man, it's gonna be worth a lot of money. Holy smokes. So I guess they rebuilt the trail up here and he put that there. He had something planned. But and there's another old road down there. That's probably the original logging road when they built this. I was hoping we'd get at least one weather day this shift. One fog out day or windy day so I can explore. Because not very often you your float camp is near a log sort where you can go walk. Huh? up these uh, old logging roads and do some exploring. So this is gonna be fun. I'm gonna find this old trail now. Whoa, I need to go this way. Following the river up to the lake. The old timers left a bunch of cedar snags. That was since tipped over into this. Oh, that's old growth too. Oh yeah, it looks like there's an old, an old trail here. Oh, bear trail. A bunch of bear poo. Full of blueberries. That's been cut. Maybe we should have stayed high. Uh, maybe we should have stayed high. You know what? I see a cut blow down there. I might be an old trail. It looked like we were kind of going on a trail before. Like trail. Yeah. We're an old growth now. All old growth here. Looks like the trail goes down.
hands up. Oh, this is cool. Hey there. Ah, this is one of the perks of logging out in the coast. Way out in the middle of nowhere. You see all sorts of cool stuff like this when you get the time to do it. <laughs> so it's kind of a silver lining of getting fogged out. That's a metal over there. I have to go. Yeah, I'm gonna wander my way over there, I think. And we got a little obstacle obstacle course to go through because some of this stuff is gonna sink on me. I wonder how deep it is. It's probably uh, probably only a few feet. I don't think it's too deep. We haven't had much rain yet since summer so it's probably oh yeah it's only a couple feet deep unless that's all wood and the bottom of the lake is way deeper which very well could be look at that moss look how red that moss is that is so cool got a little tree growing out of it look at that tree growing on logs floating on the lake can you guys see in the water there? Yeah, I think you guys can see that. Okay, well, let me just... Pan around here. I'm gonna drink out of this lake, see what it tastes like. Probably tastes like wood. <laughs> Probably tastes like cedar. <laughs> okay, we got some old cable here. Old, old, old cable. Um, I'll go this way. Now, what is that thing? Part of an old steam donkey, maybe? Is that like the boiler? I think it is. Wow, that's huge and heavy. How did they get that out here? I guess the uh, steam donkey right off the barge and pull yourself all the way out here from the ocean. Yeah, that's probably what it is. Okay, so that must have been the top. And this thing here sat on the top. It's all riveted. Look at you see all these big rivets. Look at this. Oh no, it's welded in there or something. Wow. Oh, it's got a flap here. Oh, it's stuck. That is cool. Oh, what do we got here? Like a washer. Some kind of rubber washer or something. Yeah. It must have been where they threw the coal in. Or wood, I guess. Oh, I can see all the way through. Hang on. Well, there's a thick main line. Could have been inch, inch and a quarter. Oh yeah, that's heavy. Oh, let's pan around now. Look at that. Okay, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna zoom in. I'll pan around, zoomed in. 
Oh, this must have been part of the, the steam donkey, part of the wooden frame. There's some big bolts there. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna do that. I'll just show you guys a little around the shoreline here. Yeah, okay. What do I do now? Hmm. Where are those other guys? Oh, they're way down there. Um, I don't know. You can see the old road, though, eh? The old road. It's all the way there. There. There we go. Right. Right, right there, see? And then you see that the light green trees there? Those are the deciduous trees. And those grow back like a weed, so they grow along the road first. So you can tell where the road is, old road is. And then Yeah. You know what? If I were to I think if I were to walk down over there, I get a better vantage point around this point here. I can, I can, I'll be able to see around that point and see what's over there. And then I'll pull out the spotting scope because I got a attachment for the phone so I can show you guys through the scope. So that's why I bought it. So I can see cool stuff in the distance and I can film it too. Yeah, I can do that. Okay, so this is my holder. Let's see if we can get this to work. Nice. Let's go right. It's probably a kilometer and a half away. There we go. Try to be as smooth as I can. As soon as I touch the tripod, the little handle here, as soon as I touch it, it shakes. I can't zoom out. I'm already zoomed out as far as I can with the scope. But for the phone, the only way to make it work is to zoom in with the phone. If I zoom out, I switch to another another lens and then it just doesn't work.
the sun's out, so all the heat coming off of the lake, I guess. All right, that's it for the sporting scope. Look at that, you see bottom quite easily. It's only like a foot, foot and a half deep right there. Okay, we're out of here. Sun's out, it's nice and hot. Yeah, lake level is quite low. I can walk all through this here right now. It's nice. And you can see behind me, then the lake is way down there. So that spotting scope was pretty amazing. It zoomed in pretty darn far, it's great. Can't wait to play with it some more. Okay, I'll see you guys later. And I brought my cookie. So we'll probably be at camp in another 45 minutes, we'll be at camp. Yeah, you can see how low it is. I'm sure it's nice out here, nice and quiet. You can hear birds. Oh, and I can hear a helicopter now, or a float plane. But most of the time I can just hear birds. And the distant waterfall down the creek there. Look how warm this water is. All right, see you guys later. And remember to check out uh, trigv.com, forestry form, and if you like that have his coat I was wearing. They're one of a kind. I designed them myself. You can get them at woodboss.ca. See you guys later. Oh, here we are walking along the, the creek here. Oh, animal trail looks like. Oh, what kind of rock is that? I think just algae on the rock. Nice. If you can get up in there, there's supposed to be an old road out there. Cool, nice swimming hole. Awesome. I guess we're going up there. See that? Yeah. Well, it's not looking promising. I'm sure, it's brighter over there, but it's thick with shallow. Looking for this old road. Am I now?
Where are we going here? Oh, it just gets thicker and thicker. I'll go in where the trees are bigger. Oh, man. Where's my chainsaw? I want to go where it's brighter over there. But it's really thick. Or slow. But it's got to be where the road is. I'm just going to... Push bomb over there. It's gotta be over there. Or I'm just getting more off track. God, it's like walking through a Velcro. Damn point. This may have been a mistake. I'm sure you got to walk through. Oh yeah, of course now it gets a little better. I can get on that log. wet now. Okay, there we go. Get on this walk log. Let's throw the guys away over there. I have to check my Venza and see I am actually close to that road. Once I get down this log, I'll do it. Well, the sun is warm. Oh, my pants are wet. I have no idea where the road is. Okay, let me check the map here. Okay, so I just only went about 20 feet. And I think I see the road. Another wide open, bright area up there. Gotta be a road. I think I'm trying to make it the road so it'd be easy hiking out of here. I think those other guys are still gonna beat me back to the truck. Or I'm on a slash, not even near the road. <laughs> yeah, right there. That land of alders. Okay. Oh, so I've got out of the old second growth, or, or older regen, and I'll get into some fresh second growth here. Some really young stuff. Yep, that's gotta be it. Yes. Yes. Yes, I was right. I've been redeemed. I was right. Ha <laughs> ah. ha Woo! Yeah! <laughs> ah. Just a little farther than I thought it was gonna be. Ah, oh, nice. I just hope I don't run into a bear now. Oh, I see him. They're up ahead. <laughs> they, they followed along the edge of the river until I guess it came close to the road. I just made a beeline straight for the road. <laughs> uh, right on. <laughs> I'm a little wet. Pants are wet and dirty. Shirt's all dirty. It was fun. I'm keeping an eye out for quartz now. I'm too hot in this sweater. It's a great LF being out here. Out in the middle of nowhere. Just exploring. 
This is awesome. Ooh. Oh, look at that. Goes in even farther. This is the ocean. The open ocean is from over there and it comes in and looks like it circles around. Man, imagine if you had a cabin way out there, it'd be so hidden. I guess it's at low tide right now. Yeah, low tide. Tiny little island. <laughs> look at that. I wonder what's up there. That's so cool. Because only we get to the open water. Well, we're on the um, east of Vancouver Island on the mainland there. But the open water's out there. No, it's part of me. It's right out. It's right out there. So all these little bays. It's so cool.